Hello. Today we're going to look at how to purchase a domain for your website. Now here before us we have a domain reseller and they're called Namecheap. And to buy your own domain, first you need to find out if that domain name actually exists. So follow me up through to the top here. In Namecheap's domain registry section, you can enter the, name, the domain that you want and just say you have a club called Cleveland and you want to have clevelandtoastmasters.org for instance. So what you do is you type in the name Cleveland Toastmasters and then you'll be able to search over here just exactly what you want to find. Now usually the service comes back with a number of different options and you'll be able to specify which particular domain type that you want. So for instance if you just want to go with a .com then that will come up as an option if it's available. But for Toastmaster Clubs what we're suggesting is that you try and keep a .org org or a .org perhaps .au if you're an Australian resident. So when this loads we'll come back with quite a few things that you'll have options for. Okay, it's nearly there. Now the main thing with your domain that you need to consider is that you want it to match your club name. So if your club is Cleveland Toastmasters then try and match that in the URL of the title. Now Namecheap's come back and it says that clevelandtoastmasters.com is available. But uh, just so you don't want that one, you might want clevelandtoastmasters.org. And organisations uh, are much more uh, recognised in terms of uh, just being, uh, instead of a business like a .com, it's got more recognition as a .org because clubs are not-for-profit organisations. Okay, so if you're prepared to take that domain and it's available, and you ch check this particular box, and then you go add to cart. Let me just check down here if there's anything else. No, there's nothing else there. Okay, so let's go add to cart. Here it's got your registration price, $9.69, and that's in US dollars. And that's for one year, but you can have many other years in here if you want. So just say you wanted to keep your domain name for two years, what will happen next is you need to you need to update the changes. Okay, and then your total reflects that. Now there's a couple of different ways of doing this. If you go through your standard checkout, what we'll ask you to do is create an account with Namecheap because you'll need to come back in and manage your domain. And inside Namecheap you're going to need to give your... Uh, oh, sorry, what do you need to do? You need to <laughs> supply a username and then a password for that. Okay, so you do that. Now uh, I did a test account in here before and uh, in the poo is my username and then you create a password. But if you haven't got that, you can sign up for a free account down here and what that will do is they'll ask you to create a username and password and then the same password here. Put your first, last name and email address twice and then you need to tick the box here and then whether it's going to be for personal use, clients or other, that sort of thing and I'll have to let you work that out. You're going to need to make sure that you've read the registration agreement, so that should just pop up here. And so if you've got half an hour or two days or a good lawyer, you could read through that. Um, otherwise, all it is basically saying is you're going to need to use a lot of common sense and make sure that you aren't going to use this in a, in a way or a method that is going to get uh, Namecheap into trouble. Okay, so once you've done your username and password, that will get filled in. Then it'll ask you how to make a payment and that can be usually by credit card or if you have a PayPal account you can use that as well. Okay so that's a very brief introduction to how to purchase a domain. 
there are other resellers. Uh, another popular one is GoDaddy, GoDaddy.com, and their price is a bit more expensive than Namecheap. And in my personal experience, um, they're a bit more difficult to talk with and uh, deal with. So I sort of tend to leave them all alone. But Namecheap, they've looked after me and. Uh, the other good thing about Namecheap is that they often give you one year of privacy protection when you buy your domain. And then to renew that is only about $2.50 US compared with GoDaddy which they want to charge more than $10 for privacy protection. So uh, I recommend Namecheap, they're really good. And uh, once you've got your domain, we'll work out how to set up a name service for that. Okay, and bye for now.